And now it's time for Worldview with Patrick Revol. Patrick, Ukraine's deputy intelligence chief is warning that a Russian missile attack could be coming this weekend after a recent Ukrainian strike on Russian troops. But while Ukraine is claiming to have killed up to 500 Russian troops, Russia says the number of soldiers killed is 89. So what do we know about this attack right now? Hi, Dan. Yeah, this was this devastating Ukrainian strike that took place on New Year's Eve. I mean, it was basically what we know is that Ukraine was able to launch a missile strike onto a college that was being used as a temporary barracks in eastern Ukraine to house, it appears, hundreds of Russian troops, basically recently mobilized men who'd been brought there. And Russia today has brought up its death toll now, saying that 85 of its men were killed. Ukraine, as you said, is saying far more were killed, as many as 400 and perhaps even 300 more wounded. And it seems, honestly, much more likely that it's closer to what Ukraine is saying, not only because Russia has consistently throughout this war um, vastly undercounted its casualties, but also because what we're hearing from pro, even pro-war Russian journalists is that the, the numbers are at least as many as 200. Patrick, Europe is facing record-breaking heat this winter in the midst of all this. Temperatures in many areas have reached all-time highs. So what impact is that having and why is it happening? Yeah, we're seeing really record temperatures all across Europe right now. It's unseasonably warm here in London too. And already um, national records for, for warmth in January has already been broken in around eight countries. Um, and it's really in some places smashed, you know, in Poland right now where we would expect icy temperatures. On Sunday, they had 64 degrees Fahrenheit in Warsaw. I mean, in Spain on Sunday, they also had uh, 77 degrees, which is 10 degrees Celsius more than, uh, than usual than that for this time of year. And, you know, it's really the end of the of the warmest year on record in Europe. And that's also being seen in the Alps, where there's very little snow this year right now. We're seeing um, bare slopes. Many uh, resorts in France are having to be closed. And, you know, scientists are warning that this really is going to become the norm as climate change continues. Dan? All right, Patrick Revel, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.